Hello lovelies and welcome to the fluffy edition of Hold My Coffee 2021 October. Today, look what came in the mail. Easter eggers, bard rocks, and guinea keats. Aren't they cute? So cute, so tiny, so much work. So I got the invoice in, got the chicks in. Sadly, one of the chicks and one of the keats didn't make it, but that's what happens when you have to mail poultry. So um, I have a setup. I have a, a full incubator and brooder setup in the other house. But for the first 48 hours, I like to keep a really close eye on them. So I have fish tank cheekies. Yes, they're very cute. They're very fluffy. And they do nothing but eat and drink and sleep for the first two days. But this is part of my writer's life. The farm life. So, this is part of my normal writing life. When I'm not doing the insane 10 books in 12 months, when I'm not writing one to 3,000 words a day, when I'm not scrambling to edit tens of thousands of words a month, this is part of the farm life with flowers and goats and bees and baby chickens in the fall instead of in the spring. Um, I know that's most people buy their baby chicks in the spring because they don't want to have to deal with worrying about them through the winter, but I do have an insulated room with light and heat that I can keep them in all winter. And the advantage is when I get baby chicks in the fall, they are a little bit more expensive. There are the problems like I had this time of the baby chicks got too cold and I lost two of them. But the others are healthy, strong. They're eating, drinking, running around under their heat lamp fine. And this way, by springtime, when everybody else is just getting their chips for the summer, I'll be getting eggs. So, yeah, there's that. But, um, Hold My Coffee 2021 has been an amazing challenge. It's It's been crazy. Uh, like I told Barrett Laurie in the interview I did with him this week, I've gone crackers. It's... I don't know what possessed me to do this challenge and to do so much, but I did. And... Oddly, instead of feeling like super uber accomplished and yeah, I did this, I'm like, the feeling is more like, oh, thank God, I'm almost done. Because I have one book left. I have Ghost with Hope that is launching on December 10th. And that will be the last one for Hold My Coffee 2021. Now, I, I do have a book. I do have a Indie House Publishing pub book that is coming out in November. Uh, the Wild Anemone will be releasing, and that one is not part of my Hold My Coffee 2021 goals. Um, it's 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 taken a while to get through everything, and um, I'm just I can't believe it's already October. It's already October. So here I am, December 310th, 2020, or October 7th, 2021, and Preptober is well underway. I am rereading Revelation of Ash and the Ravers because that's the book I'm going to be doing in NaNo. I'm going to be finally, 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 after four long years, finally finishing the Revelation Night Trilogy. 
and it, it feels strange to be walking back into that world after so long. It, it really does. And I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of bittersweet. It's, it's like, I'm, I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad that I pushed myself, that my brain did its usual, meet the goal, do the task, finish everything now, overlord mentality that my OCD is when I'm trying to do something. But there's also, there's also, it's, it's, it, it's really, it feels like fall because it's winding down. Ghost with Hope is with the betas. I should get it back at the end of this month. And then while I'm working on my nano, I'm going to be adjusting it as the betas recommend it what the, for what the betas seen and then putting it on Amazon. And it really does feel like things are slowing down for me. It feels like I'm finally, finally, ow, 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 on my leg. Sorry. It's another kind of fluffy, the kind of fluffy that has little tiny daggers on the bottom of its feet. If you want in my lap, you don't have to climb my leg. Where was I? Oh yes, talking about how calming and how, how relaxing it is now that everything's finishing. This is my life. Just when I think things are going to relax into fall. Uh, well, I don't have much news this time. Um, and I really don't have anything to read unless you want me to read from The Wild and Enemy, which I can do. Because I do need to start promoting that. It is publishing in November. Um, let me see if I can find the file. Give me a second. The wild. All right. Let's find a random place in the wild and enemy to just start reading. And we're scrolling, 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 scrolling. Do, do, do. Oh, I can't sing that song. It's copy mark. Oh, here's a good spot. Here's a good stop. Music was playing and the annual dance contest was about to start when Superintendent Bernard Patrick waved to Lloyd. I see you and Miss Millie are dancing in the Halloween dance contest. The, the DJ wants to know what music you wanted, Bernie said, and Lloyd stared at him in shock. Millie and I didn't sign up. She still has her arm in a cast, Lloyd said in surprise, staring staring at the form and wondering if Millie had signed them up without telling him. Oh, come on, Lloyd. We, we only have seven other couples. Camille and Tank already had to drop out because of the suds in the pool, and Tanya's date didn't show up. Maybe Tanya could dance with you? Bernie asked. Lloyd ground his teeth not to say he would rather cut off his feet than dance with his ex-wife. Instead, he said, Fine. I'll get Millie, a tango. When is it starting? In about 10 minutes. You're up first. Lloyd stalked over to the Wild and Enemy bakery van spot where Millie and Jackson were passing out cookies and wishing everyone happy Halloween. Millie held a bag out to Lloyd with a smile, but he shook his head. We have a problem, he announced without preamble. Someone signed us up for the dance contest. It starts in less than 10 minutes, and we're first. Millie's eyes widened. But my arm. 
I know. Lloyd's mouth curved down in a thin frown. He was sure Millie hadn't done it by her reaction, and he began to wonder who had. Then he realized it could only be Tanya. Do you want to? If you don't want to, I can always ask Tanya. Millie gave him such a flat look for even suggesting it, he smirked. Or not. Let's get going. Jax, can you handle the crowd? Millie asked, and Jackson gave her a grin. This isn't a crowd, sweetie. Not like we're used to. The tall baker responded with a wink. Aunt Elizabeth stood up. I think I will come with you youngins. I haven't got to see you dance since that lovely Mother's Day party your dad took us to when you were 16. My niece is quite the dancer, young Lloyd. Lloyd held out his hand to the century-old woman. Yes, ma'am, I know. Ah, of course, your lovely weekend in Black Bear, where nothing happened. Auntie said conspiratorially, and Millie almost groaned aloud as she followed. Inside, they put Aunt Elizabeth in a chair between Lloyd's grandmother Fern and Camille's grandmother Doreen, before they took their place. All of the other couples were wearing matching costumes, so Lloyd borrowed Tank's Prince Charming jacket and quickly changed out of his Sheriff's Department uniform shirt. They were called first, the Prince and the Troll Princess. As the music started, Millie grinned, but Lloyd frowned. It's a tango by Timmy Trumpet, Millie whispered. Let's go in three, two, one. One. Lloyd immediately began stepping through the first pass as Millie followed. It was a little hard at first to hit all the positions because she had to keep her arms still, but they managed. At the end of the last spin, everyone was clapping. As they breathlessly bowed, Lloyd caught the cold glare Tanya was giving them, even though she was smiling brightly, and he knew with certainty who had put his and Millie's name on the sign-up sheet. I thought you didn't pretend, Prince Humpy, Millie breathlessly whispered as she giggled. Every princess deserves to dance with a prince, even a troll princess, he answered cavalierly as they walked off the dance floor. Now I have to get this jacket back, back to Sheriff Tank and go back to my job as a palace guard. Stop by later for some more cookies, Millie offered. I might just do that. Thanks for the dance. You did a good job, he praised her. So did you, she returned the compliment with a smile. That music, he shook his head, was fine once you recognized it, Millie interrupted. The next couple's music started, so Millie and Lloyd went, both went back to their jobs outside of the trunk or treat. Halloween Carnival at the high school. Alrighty, and now we have a little tiny snippet of The Wild and Enemy, where Millie and Lloyd, just Millie and Lloyd, they're still trying. They're still so close, so close to being a love interest. Here's hope that I'm going to crush like every can. You didn't hear that last part. You did not hear me say that last part. Now, love is never easy. Love is work. Love is struggle. And even the most romantic little moments like an unexpected tango on the eve of Halloween at the carnival because someone's ex-wife signed you up hoping that she'd be the one to get the turn. Yeah, Lloyd and Millie have a long way to go, and you'll just have to stay with the Pagosa Cliffs and in a moon series and in and in a the Pagosa Cliffs and enemies series to see how far they go. Thank you for visiting Pagosa Cliffs. Thank you for hanging out with me for. Ten months 
of Hold My Coffee 2021. I hope you have a very lovely October and Preptober if you're getting ready for Nano. And be blessed.